Hi guys! So, I have recently made an episode about leaving the couch. And I'm going to make a confession to you all. This episode, I could have probably worked a little bit harder on. But I decided not to because I, I just finished finals today and I just wanted to break. So I just, I pretty much just read like the odds books all day. That's pretty much all I did. And that, that was it. I think I took a nap too. So I didn't really, I just decided not to really work hard on this episode. I, I hope you all will forgive me. But yeah, I have been working really hard on finals. And, you know, it is a shame that with these last episodes, I can't do something more special for Frostburg. But, you know, the work comes first. And I, I'm graduating, so that's good. I, I, got all, I got all good grades. I, don't, I think I only got one C, which, which I don't mind at all. I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with, like, just getting C's. But yes, I, 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 have, I have to say, with Frostburg State, I really enjoyed it, personally. I thought it was a great experience. Uh, I understand when kids say that they don't want to pay for it, that it costs too much money. I get that. Um, but it, it is, it's, it's a lot, it, it looks good for businesses if you say you've gone to college. And maybe you can get into jobs without going to college, but if you're not really super smart like that, then you're probably not going to be able to, so. And, and I, I've got a lot going for me. I'm, I'm in the theater department, so. And, and for all of you who are worried about me being in the theater department, think that's, like, probably not a good idea, don't worry. I have a backup plan. I'm also majoring in um, literature, so I have that to fall back on in case the theater thing doesn't work out. I'm sure there's great job opportunities in both of those. But it'll be okay. I, I'm not one of those people that worry about that kind of stuff. I, I'm sure I can get a job somewhere and I can always try for this stuff. I, I, I don't think it's a big deal like some people do. I've been in the workforce. I've worked for the Fireside Tales pretty much my whole life. And it's, it's just, it's okay. You'll be fine, you know. I mean, you'll, you'll get a job. You might not even like it, but I mean, it's not like if you're in the creative arts field, you're just going to go out and starve and die. I, I, think, I, think, I think everything's going to be okay. You just you do what you like and whatever. I, I'm not one of those people that need, like, giant piles of money. I'm perfectly fine with just having enough to survive. I'm really an essentialist. All I need is food, water, and clothing and shelter, and I'm perfectly content. I don't need any more than that. I, I, even if I had like a million dollars, I'd probably just give most of it to charity. And in fact, I'm very mad at Gorman and Harold because they ended up spending most of my 12 million dollars trying to poker, you know, trying to play poker. And I don't know how Gorman gets these ideas in his head. He has never won at poker and he spends all of them. But that's all right. That money comes and goes and it was going to be for the orphan fun, but you know what, that, that's besides the point. At any rate, um, yes, it has been a great time here, and I have met a lot of people, and I have had a lot of good friends um, that I have met in the theater department. I, I don't know if I should say their names, because I don't want to embarrass them, but they, there has been some great people in Frostburg, and I will never forget the experiences I've had with them, you know. I, that, that's a thing. In your life, the friendships that you make they they go they go with you forever. Even if you never meet those people, and even if you and if the only ever time you ever meet them again is like some time in a theater where you're like, oh hey, I know that guy, and then you kind of just try to run away from them. That doesn't mean they aren't special to you. They they have changed your life, even if in a small way. And I hope I've changed some of their life. I hope some of them are watching this. And I, if so, I want to say hi and. I want to say that I had a great time at Frostburg, and it really was one of the most greatest experiences of my life. But, anyways, that's really all I have to say. Just farewell to Frostburg. I have loved doing couch episodes here, and I can't wait to see where else in the world I'll get to do them. I can't wait to see what else is um, waiting out there for me in life. I'm sure it's going to be a great adventure. And if not, that, that's fine too. I'm just, really, all I just need is enough to survive, and I don't really care what happens after that. But anyways, I've had a lot of fun with you all, and, well, goodbye Frostburg State University.